Shopee's supermarket has defended its decision to lay off close to 200 staff. The retailer says it is a normal process while dismissing recent reports that it was set to exit the Kenyan market. According to Chopi's human resource manager Joshua Wery, the restructuring process has affected 188 staff but says it is a normal redundancy process. Wery confirms that the affected staff had been issued with a one-month notice before receiving letters by the end of last month. He however dismissed reports that the retailer is exiting the Kenyan market and it is only the parent company in Botswana which can determine such a move. The 188 staff represent 20% of the entire Chopi's workforce in Kenya, the human resource manager claims. Speaking to Citizen TV, Retailers Trade Association of Kenya traded carefully on the future of its member in the country. Our understanding of the scenario and actually having consulted with, uh, um, with, with a particular um, uh, uh, chain in question, the key thing is that uh, Chopi is actually not leaving this market. Chopi is actually here to stay. And... Uh, what we actually saw is even uh, they are recapitalizing the business and, and uh, we expect them to be here in the market and for, in the next uh, few um, not going on. So they are actually here to stay. Chopis has been struggling to stay afloat. The poor run attributed to boardroom wrangles out of its Gaboron headquarters. A recent board meeting saw the return of beleaguered CEO Ramachandran Otapathu was fired in May this year. Going by the resurgence of smaller supermarkets and consolidation in the sector, the association projects better days ahead for Kenya's retail sector. Now, this market is actually becoming more, uh, more appealing to the international players, so I expect to see more players in, in the next few. Um, consolidation is actually going to become more of a need and uh, I expect to see that also happening uh, in the next new future, especially for all tier 3 and tier 2 supermarkets. Denis Otieno, Citizen TV.